each other forever. And uh, there was a time when I always thought, yeah, I gotta be Johnny Depp. I said, I really like his movies, everything like that. And I know he plays guitar. So when I got the call to do Dark Shadows, I went, oh, this is gonna be cool. You know, for a guy who grew up, you know, certainly listening to these guys, you know, every single day, you could never sort of expect that kind of thing to happen when you're, you know, a kid. The idea of the vampires in the beginning was to honor our dead drunk friends. The Jimi Hendrixes, the Jim Morrisons, the John Lennons, all those guys, you know, pretty much put a bar band together. That's really what it was gonna be. And we wrote three songs on that album to explain the album. My yeah. dead drunk friend songs, you know, Raise the Dead, that explained what we were doing. That was an indication right there that the next album is gonna be all originals. One thing we did not want to do was make it sound like an Alice Cooper album or make it sound like an Aerosmith album. There were definitely things that I know that I wouldn't do in Aerosmith. At the beginning, there was a conscious consciousness about doing that, shifting over. It was just a song I felt that we should do, you know. It's always meant a lot to me, but it, it meant a lot to me over the last few years, you know. I knew Bowie pretty well, but I didn't have an emotional connection to him like that as much as Johnny did. And Johnny says, well, you sing it. And I said, no, you sing it. <laughs> and he says, I don't sing. I said, you did Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Reminding him that he sang. <laughs> <laughs> and he sings it better than I could ever sing it. I'd forgotten, I'd forgotten that I'd done yes, Sweeney Todd. <laughs> you, it's very hard to forget a project that took two years. <laughs> if you don't, but if you don't see it, it's, you know, it's almost like it doesn't <laughs> exist. <you know? laughs> it was good, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Recording in Hansa, uh, the former Hansa Studios, where Bowie recorded Heroes in that huge, beautiful room, ornate room, just incredible. do like a cover especially that cover do it there and we just happened to be there so I mean it was a brilliant idea to, to do it in that studio I remember sitting in the kitchen and he was reading the lines to heroes and it was like every one of them he was going like yeah yeah I mean you could see him he'd get possessed when he'd get up to the microphone he owned the song well it's like anything you don't know you can do it till you try you know but I had no idea I could hit any of those notes I'll tell you one thing though, when he's on the stage banging on his guitar, that's him through and through. It's the real deal. You're seeing the real Johnny when you see Johnny on stage. A lot of the original songs are from Johnny's diaries, which is cool for me. I thought that was really cool. I wanted to call the album Rise because that's what vampires do. We rise to the occasion every night. I don't know what Johnny does during the day. <laughs> I don't know what Joe does, but I have this picture of it about so about 10 minutes before it's time just you know <laughs> he has risen yeah. he has risen initially it was Tommy and Joe and myself writing songs riffs bits that you know and it was really kind of you know here and there and effectively recorded the entire record in like six weeks you know and it was cool to come in as, as sort of as the, the third party on it because I'm hearing it for the first time it wasn't like I was there at the bottom of you know, building these songs up. I might say, you know, if we change that word to this word or just move that around to here, it would make more sense or it would make less sense, which would be good too, you know. And the, you know, the funny thing is some of the final vocals were done in hotel rooms when I was on the road, you know, Mr. Spider. Yeah. I mean, it was somewhere in Nebraska on a day off <laughs> in a hotel room doing the vocal on that. Because now, with the technology, you can do that. We did my my vocal part in Get From Round Me on, um, in Japan. <laughs> I think we were in <laughs> Tokyo, in a hotel room. And so we've all written so much music that we realize it's a piece of clay. It can be moved here, it can be moved there, as long as in the end, it's what it's supposed to be. I don't think there's ever been an argument in this band because you get three alpha males together and somebody wants to, to steer the, the, the boat. All three of us are going, 
as long as the boat gets there. But that's what made it fun, too, because yeah. it was like just throwing in ideas and let the, let, let the right ones fall in the right place. It was really a lot of fun doing it like that. Take a step further yeah. than, than what we all do in our other day jobs, I suppose. You know? Everybody wants to take that step further and, and, and experiment. So the process became, well, became it, it, from the first instant, it was very organic. It wouldn't come out if we weren't, if we didn't all agree that it's, it's what we want. This is a homegrown record. I mean, slowly the stuff started to come out of the speakers, and it was, we really felt like we were onto something. What we all added to the thing was, was cathartic on every level. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. We're not chasing the charts. If we get a hit record off this, it's because the charts came to us. I'm kind of proud of the fact that this album didn't sound like anybody but the Hollywood Vampires. I can't think of any band this sounds like. This sounds totally like what would happen if we three wrote songs. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing all the songs. I mean, every night they're, they're like developing, you know, because they are, they are new. But Rise is the one that I, I love watching the audience because they don't know they don't know what to make of it. Right now, if we wanted to finish the show, we could do Sweet Emotion, and that would be the final song. We could do Schools Up, it's final. Could do. I think in a, in a while, Rise. We couldn't possibly do a song after that. When everybody knows it, it's gonna be like, do Rise. They're, if you walk off the stage without doing it, they're gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna turn the place down. I don't think you can talk about the American situation or any political situation, rockers, without satirizing it. We're not politicians. It's humor. It must be you, you have to attack it with humor. And I think Rise is so infectious that that audience, next year when we go out, that's the marching song. We're not preferring one candidate over the other because we kind of see them all as the same guy. <laughs> They're all the same guy. Who's a better actor? <laughs> he's, he's, uh... He has never seen one of his movies. There's really none like Alice Cooper. I think that, that he is probably the most versatile actor out there. No, it's I'm, true. I'm embarrassed and, and shy, and, 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 and I might have urinated on myself. I, I might have wet myself. But you know, nobody urinates on themselves better than you. Well, you do that. Better I than have had some else. practice. I have had some practice. <laughs>